Hey gang, Scott here. I have a tip for you about using curves and specifically the eyedropper portion of curves tool to really pick what tones you want to change, what do you want to impact, as well as what you don't want to change. And that second part's an important piece. I'm going to show you this here in Lightroom. The same principle applies in On One. On One's got a picker. You're using a curves tool or any tool that you have with curves that has a picker so you can choose tones in your image. Choose what you want to change and also what you don't want to change because that gives you good options here. So let's take a look at this photo. And I've done the curves work uh, for this already, but we're going to repeat the steps here. And let me zoom in a little bit because what we're paying attention to is I want to emphasize these rocks here. And I want to emphasize the, the, the lower to middle mid-tones. I don't want the shadows to increase. I really want that localized contrast. I'll just turn this on afterward, and you can see the change. And this is done with curves, as well as you know, texture and clarity. We always add those things. But targeting those, uh, those tonal things to the curve. You know, here's the curve, just the curve before and after. And that has a big impact. So how do we go about doing that? All right. Um, well, you see, I'm using a mask. I'm targeting this to to certain things. Uh, for simplicity's sake, let me just duplicate the mask. But what we'll do is turn it on. There we go. And let me just kind of reset everything. Okay. So what we have is the objects that are masked. And okay, I did my clarity and I did a little texture because I want to bring up the the detail on those rocks. But it's really the curve work that is most interesting. So we'll use the dropper here. And when I'm looking at the tones, I'm picking the curve here, saying, well, what do I want to change? In this case, I want to raise the luminance. I want to increase the brightness on certain tones. And other things I want to protect. So hovering around, and I'm going to use this, uh, this main piece here. Let's, let's move this. Let's do this. Let's move this closer to our curve so we can really see what's going on here. And I must have accidentally clicked on a couple of things. Let's reset that curve. Okay, get my picker. And the first thing is like these like kind of brighter grays, I want to increase those. So I'm gonna click once on that. Now that's set a point. And yeah, you know, as one might expect, with the object that I have selected, most things are in shadow. That's right at the edge of where the brighter tones begin. And there's not a lot of bright tones in these rocks. But I also want to set a point to protect. The reason, if I just start manipulating this, you know, notice that everything here is rising too. And I'm opening up the shadows. That could be okay if that's what you're after. Um, I'm not, I'm not after that. So let's reset that to 68. So we have just a normal linear curve, no change in the input and output. I still have the picker set, or maybe I don't. Let's pick that again. And now I want to get into a deep tone that I don't want to change, like down in here, like this shadowy area, and click once. That sets another point. And what that does is this kind of protects the lower portion. Things beyond this point now, they won't change as much. You see how it kind of, it kind of uh, two points close to each other on a curve act as an anchor, right? So. Let's go ahead and reset all of those pieces again. And the final step is I will just raise the brightness. In Lightroom, I'll use the Shift key and then click and drag up because that will prevent me. I can't, I can't go left and right. I can only go brighter or darker, vertical or horizontal. If you're working with a tool that doesn't have that option, See if you can key in the values themselves, you know, here, or, um, you know, I can, I, can, I can drag this way too, right? Just so that way I'm going brighter or darker and I'm not shifting the point because when you use that picker, you want to pick a particular tone. And that looks pretty good. So before and after, and that's just the curve, right? For those rocks before and after. So that's, uh, that's how I'm approaching uh, things with the curves tool, using the picker to choose the tone you want to change, as well as choosing tones on either end of it. I chose in the shadows, but either end that you want to protect. If there's anything really bright that you don't want affected, pick another point out there. So it narrows the amount of tonal uh, ranges that the, that the curve is going to affect. It's a very powerful technique, and it's not that hard to do. Use the picker, work visually, 
and I hope you have fun doing it. Any questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.